Hello YouTube. This is Matt from Casual Riders. It is a wonderful morning out here in Gordon's Bay. I'm making my way off to work. And um, at the time of recording this, I have 49 subscribers. So I want to say a huge thank you to you 49 people out there. Because without your support, I can't do anything with this channel. So thank you. Do me a favor, help me out, share this video. It'll really just help grow the channel and I really want to get to 200 subscribers by the end of March. So let's make it happen. One of you viewers out there asked me if I would give a little bit of a video about defensive riding techniques. So I decided I will give you a few. Now, full disclaimer, I've only been riding motorbikes for about two years, actually less than that. And so I am by no means an expert. So I feel like if there are people out there that have got better advice or tips, leave a comment down below because it will definitely make for some good uh, conversation starters. So help me out with that. I'd really appreciate it. If you find any of the tips useful in this video, give it a thumbs up. One of my biggest tips for um, defensive riding on a motorcycle is to try and maintain vision or visibility as much as possible. Now, literally here was a perfect example. There was a whole line of six cars that I could see applying brakes. So I didn't even need to brake. I just rolled off the throttle and let engine braking slow me down there. That is my primary focus when I am riding a bike is that I have maximum vision that I can see at least three vehicles ahead of me um, so that I can try and focus on their brake lights, see what their speed is and so on and so forth. That is my primary objective, as much visibility as possible. The second thing which is like really obvious is you obviously want to maintain safe following distances when you are following cars. Like there was no possibility of me overtaking so I'm keeping a decent enough following distance behind this Fortuner so that, you know, if there is a need for an evasive maneuver, I can swerve to the left, I can apply brakes, I've got lots of space. Space saves lives. So the next thing that is quite an important thing is lane position and how you need to alter your lane position when you're approaching different sets of hazards. Whenever I'm approaching a vehicle, I would be in line with the side view mirror so that I can see the driver in the side view mirror when I'm approaching it. Once I'm moving into a position where I want to overtake, I will actually reposition myself within the lane so that I've got a big gap between myself and the vehicle that I am passing. Whenever I'm passing a long vehicle, I will make sure that there is no cars next to that vehicle so that I can get a straight shot at passing them, like I did with that bus. So another really good technique is when you're approaching a vehicle like that's the side of the vehicle, that should instantly be recognized as a hazard, you know? If you see side of a vehicle somewhere or something that is out of place like a vehicle that's facing oncoming or that's stopped where it shouldn't be those are the things that you look at as hazards now some of the most common accidents that occur is when a vehicle cuts in front of you and that's exactly the kind of hazards that you want to be addressing so keep an eye out for when you see the side of a vehicle you know, um, the side of a vehicle usually means that there's going to be a path of travel violation. We're both going to move into the same piece of road at some point in time. And all you want to do is slow it down enough so that nothing happens. One of the crazy things about riding a bike um, is that you could get away with a lot of close calls by simply rolling off the throttle. I mean, see how much I've slowed down and there was no brake there. 
right? Like, check it out, okay? Look how close I am to this Fortuna in front of me. No hands, no brake, no foot brake, and I'm slowing down. It's easy. <laughs> well, that pretty much wraps up the defensive riding strategies that I use whenever I'm on the bike. And let me know which ones would work for you or which ones do you use. If you like any of these strategies, why not give this video a thumbs up? And while you're at it, why not check out Excogitate? He is gracious enough to let us use his music for this channel. And he's a really passionate artist, so check out his channels, they're linked in the description, and share some love with him. Until next time, ride safe.